And now, almost live from the Outer Domain showroom on the beach at Waikiki. Thank you so much for uh, tuning in to Nighttime. Uh, boy, it's fun doing a television show. I love it. I, I just love it, you know. And, and it's fun because, you know, when you have a bad hair, di uh, hair day, thousands of people say it. Say, and when you blow a line, thousands of people hear it. Oh, they don't care. They love it anyway. They love it. That, that, that joke was weak enough when, it, when I had it right. <laughs> You know, but you know, I, I'll tell you one of the very uh, interesting things about being on television. Mm -hmm. People feel they can say things to you that they normally wouldn't say to such people. Such as? Yeah, well, this, this I'm, I'm, you know, this guy says to me, "Yeah, Andy, listen, I, I watch your show all the time. Really enjoy it, but uh, you look a little fat." <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. That's a first. Right. What do you say to that? You know, and I say, you know, without having to get into the, you know, the technical uh, intricacies of television, I say, well, the reason, you know, I look a little fat is because I am a little fat, okay? <laughs> because, well, but, you know. But, but, but I have a new trick uh, to look a lot thinner. You can use this if you like. I only hang out with people who are fatter than me. <laughs> and I like that. Oh, yeah. yeah. And, and, and it's great because they always know the best places to eat. <laughs> you know? Oh, yeah. Well, actually, I'm on, uh, I'm on this new diet. I lost a couple pounds. Is yeah. that right? Yeah, I, uh, I only uh, eat when the monologue is funny. <laughs> Ooh, boy, he hungry. just cost me a pound and a half. <laughs> yeah, but... Uh, <laughs> no, but I'm just... I've always been one of those guys where, you know, my weight goes up and down, you know, and mostly up, mm -hmm. but uh, mm -hmm. the, the problem is I just don't work out enough. <laughs> you you know? don't. You look good, though. Well, happy. thank you, but I, I should work out more, but I, I can't get motivated. Do you uh, have that yeah, problem? Yeah, I know the feeling. Yeah, yes. So, yes. so everybody says, well, get a personal trainer, you know? And, and I, I couldn't afford that, so I made a big mistake. I hired an impersonal trainer. <laughs> and, you know, they won't even make eye contact with me, you know? <laughs> just reading a paper, you know? <laughs> you know, I'm over there, hey, hey, hey. Am I doing this correctly? Oh, you know, man. he's like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> you know, so uh, anyway, uh, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, uh, we have a great show for you. We have Cub World coming up, and we have the Roxy Girls, Surf Girls, when we return. Thanks for tuning in. Introducing an unexpected new twist on Cerveza, Miller Chill. The refreshing light beer brewed with a hint of lime and salt. Inspired by a Mexican recipe. It's Beer Vesa, brewed for a new level of refreshment. to yours. Happy holidays. Busy, busy, busy. <laughs> You're always on the go. Always got something to do. So for over 100 years, local families have been heading to City Mill to get things done. Your neighborhood City Mill has got the things you need, always priced right. Zip in, zip home, and the next thing you know, <laughs> the jobs are all done. Then it's right back to being busy, 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 but in a good way. City Mill. Priced right every day. Hi. Hey, uh, you examined fine works of art, right? Yes, I do. Oh, okay. Hang on. I'll be right back. Hawaiian Host Chocolate Covered Macadamia Nuts. Uh, take a close look. Go ahead. How would you rate these? Exquisite. Uh, try one. Try one. Hmm. Isn't that amazing? You know, seven out of ten people prefer Hawaiian Host in a blind taste test. Creamy. Hey, you know, that gives me an idea. Perfect. A masterpiece. Introducing an unexpected new twist on Cerveza, Miller Chill. The refreshing light beer brewed with a hint of lime and salt. 
It's muy refreshing.